Understanding Dorm Parties, a guide for English language learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to dive into a common aspect of college life in English-speaking countries, dorm parties. We'll explore what they are, why they're significant, and the language surrounding these events. So, let's get started and uncover the ins and outs of this cultural phenomenon. Dorm parties refer to informal gatherings or celebrations that take place within a dormitory, dorm, which is a type of residence hall for students. These events are characterized by music, dancing, and socializing among students. They play a significant role in campus life, offering a way for students to unwind and bond with their peers. Dorm parties are often vibrant and lively, filled with energy and youthful spirit. They can range from quiet get-togethers to large-scale bashes. The atmosphere is typically casual, with students dressing comfortably and often bringing their own beverages or snacks to share. It's a space where friendships are formed and memories are made. When talking about dorm parties, you might hear phrases like throwing a party, meaning organizing a gathering, or crashing a party, which means attending without an invitation. Students may discuss the vibe of a party to describe its ambience or setting up a playlist to talk about choosing music for the night. In many English-speaking countries, dorm parties are seen as a rite of passage for college students. They are a slice of college culture, reflecting the freedom and autonomy that comes with being a student. They also highlight the importance of community and collective experiences in student life. We hope this video has given you a clear understanding of dorm parties and the language that surrounds them. Whether you're a student gearing up for college or just curious about student life, understanding this aspect of English-speaking culture is both interesting and useful. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the English language soon.